Hey guys, it's Kyoki again with another ROM review and this time I've got Chameleon OS version 1.0.1 for Galaxy S3. So this is this awesome ROM which is available for a bunch of devices and uh, something which I want to quote is that it's not actively, it's not officially there for the international version which I'm using. So uh, this one I'm using is a ported version I guess from XDA developers by a user called Fabio so it's really awesome uh, this one is working uh, enough to be used as a daily driver so it's really awesome okay so let's get into it here is the lock screen pretty uh, awesome okay uh, standard one what you're seeing now here is a theme used I'll get to that later uh, the lock screen is uh, the AOSP style lock screen standard one so let's go do the about page first okay here is the about phone uh, you can see all the uh, chameleon OS update statistics etc etc change log okay first of all this is based on Android 4.3.1 so that is the latest version of Android uh, released a few couple of days back so it's not 4.3 it's a later one okay so uh, something to keep in mind while uh, installing gapps package you need 4.3.1 gapps package which is available from the uh, XDA uh, link in the description below so you use that rather than the 4.3 Android gapp so uh, be sure to keep that in mind so now uh, chameleon OS version it is 1.0.1 for GG uh, i9300 pretty neat um, yeah that much is evident from the about phone now about the ROM this one is unique in the sense that it has a theming engine similar to the MIUI so you can use MIUI themes in this one it's really awesome okay uh, I'll show you guys the theming functionality uh, in a bit okay now we have the launcher it is a proprietary launcher it's called chaos launcher 2.0 it has a lot of features uh, it is based on trebuchet launcher so it has a lot of features like trebuchet uh, it does have gestures and uh, functions like that let's go to that sorry uh, let's go to launcher launcher settings are these home screen settings uh, are of these all of these settings are there you can have styles for folder pretty neat pretty standard I would say okay now drawer uh, settings dock settings general settings these are normal settings there's one thing which I really like about this launcher is instead of this you have this calculator icon you want to move this to another page right okay uh, normally what you would do is hold the launcher hold the icon and meet it at the edge for it to move right but in this launcher you can have this one you can just hold it with one finger and swipe with another so that it will go to other page it's really awesome I I believe it, it is the first launcher in which I've known I can do this so it's really neat uh, you can do that with widgets also it's really awesome okay now uh, about other features uh, the launcher is pretty much trebuchet it has a lot of features it has gesture based uh, and uh, gesture based applications etc 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 it has a lot of stuff. now uh, moving on uh, we'll go to settings and this is cyanogen mod based ROM so you have a lot of CM based features uh, such as status bar features system features in this one okay status bar features these are all uh, basic cyanogen mod features you do you can have a uh, network speed available uh, for some reason I, I think it's because of the theme I'll show you guys the theming functionality in a bit okay uh, now quick settings panel is this one wait uh, in the notification this is quick settings like in the normal 4.2 Android it's really awesome it you can select the tiles to be used all of these uh, CM functionalities etc now uh, AOKP system animation okay this one is the animations for each activity so you can have custom animations for all of these and uh, you can make this device your own so it's pretty neat again uh, app bar is like you can you have a bar here which you can use to have a few apps there 
I don't use that. There's something else which I really like and I use. I'll show you guys. It does have active display, which is like in the Moto X. You can have that feature enabled, and uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, it it does work, and uh, yeah, that's we that's cool. Now, a uh, clock widget that is the Chronos Home, which is C clock from the Cyan Engine mod. You can have that. You that's what you saw in the home screen. So that's there. Battery light, hardware keys, navigation buttons. Okay, navigation bar. You can have this one, so you will be able to have on-screen navigation bar. Now you have uh, three different UI types: uh, phone UI, tablet UI, and tablet UI. So if you are into that, it's really cool. Again, let's go to settings. Okay. Now other other things. Uh, it does have Halo. Uh, it is Halo 2.0, so you have the ninja mode. There, there it is. Come on, come on out. You can have that. I'm closing it for now. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let's get into theming. This has MIUI theming engine, so it means it will accept MIUI themes. So you have a wide variety of themes. I mean, there's no stopping to the themes available for you. So, uh, one thing, uh, it does have its own themes like chaos themes in the forums. I will show you guys both the themes in a bit. Okay. Let's see. Here is a few of the themes which I have downloaded. This is the stock theme, uh, with which it comes. So, uh, I'll show you guys this one first. Apply theme. It is this green and, uh, kind of a different theme which is well it is unique and if you are a fan of green color you will be liking this okay what you saw here is this one okay this toggle feature is a feature of the um uh, chameleon os so you do have that it does have a few sliders for sounds of everything you have uh, alarm messaging uh alarm uh, again Ring tone, I guess it is for media, and it, this is the brightness slider. You have all these features uh, in the toggles menu. You have to enable that in the status bar options, so that's there. Notifications, normal notification, quick settings, etc. You can change the page toggles to a normal CM like toggles. Okay, I just changed this. Okay, now uh, about the theming again. You have these themes, which are chaos themes, which are meant for this ROM. This will work perfectly, they, they don't have any problems. The MIUI ones, however, are not actually meant for these ROM, so it might have a few problems, like the status bar may not be fully themed, at least in this version, I guess it is there. Maybe in the future versions, it will be corrected, so that's um, something you can, you need to watch out for. Let's, um, let me sh show you guys this theme which is a MIUI theme that is an MTZ file. The chaos themes are actually uh, CTZ files, so you can have, you can distinguish them in that way. Apply with scaling. It does even uh, change the boot animation. That's the real beauty of it. So there isn't one boot animation uh, locked to you. You have uh, the boot animation selection. Pretty neat. Okay, what, you, what I have just done is change it to me, me UI. Which is one of the one of my most favorite themes for MIUI. It's really neat. Okay, so you can see all the icons have changed, and uh, well, this is changed. But what the problem is, I guess, is that this uh, battery is not changed. So that's uh, something which I want to be corrected. I guess it will be corrected because the development in this is going strong. And uh, yeah, I guess that is it about the theming engine. Okay, now one more feature which I really really like about this one. You see that Chaos Lab? Let's go there. Now Gesture Anywhere is really an awesome feature of this one. You can see that you can have one uh, hotspot where you can um, keep a tab. Uh, what I've done is you can see that r little blue rectangle red, right? You can uh, change that. You can have a thicker one, you can have a bigger one, you can have full uh, right side edge. I would, I would keep it at, it at this uh, thing. Okay, you click that and you have this screen 
okay you can draw gestures here and activate uh, apps you have to add them first so i'll show you guys something which i've added you can uh, have c for camera it activates the camera it's really neat it's really awesome feature which i really really love uh, something i would love to have an app for this for my other roms it's really awesome okay you can change the location of the uh, this thing so pretty awesome be sure to keep this somewhere where it does not interfere with your normal navigation or keyboard so uh well stand the stuff i guess so you need to do that it's really awesome feature gesture anywhere so and now uh what else let's see rest of the features are normally the um android 4.3 features so there's nothing much to talk about mm, lock screen normal cm features so nothing much so i guess that is it yes <laughs> the theming also changes the uh this thing also the dialer everything changes so contacts dot changes pretty neat the messaging app is kind of uh different okay you have these area for your contacts whatever messages you have you slide it to have a new message so you can select a message and slide it to have the conversation slide it go to another conversation slide it it's really awesome i really like this it kind of reminds me of an app called sliding messages pretty neat it's a paid app so you're getting uh, some something like that for free here really neat uh yeah i guess that is it about the rom this is the shutdown animation for chameleon os pretty neat stuff here is the boot animation for chameleon os with the uh, green chameleon with the green halo thing okay that's a really neat one actually uh befitting for the chameleon os i guess now uh i think that much is it about the chameleon os uh it's really an awesome rom i would i wouldn't say this is a uh, performance rom because uh in uh and two benchmarks at first i got 1800 uh, 1805 so i wouldn't say it is a really uh, 18005 okay i wouldn't say this is a, much of a performance rom but this is really an awesome rom for the theming feature alone it really gives you a1 theming feature well miui themes are all over the place like right so you can use any theme you want so i guess that is it about this rom hope you guys like the video please subscribe share and like the video if you really like it so see you guys next time